everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you guys that you can achieve a beautiful drugstore makeup look. So everything I'm going to use today is from the drugstore, it's all affordable, and I just want to show you guys that you can get a beautiful look and you don't have to spend a lot of money. If you're new to my channel, subscribe and the button down below, click the little bell so that you don't miss any of my videos, and let's just get down to it. Let's get started. So I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundation. Uh, this is the first time I've used it and it was really pretty impressive. So you know in a drugstore it's where you can't really match because you can't really test the product. Well, I wasn't sure if it was going to match, but and you can see, yeah, it does kind of look funny on, but it's matching my neck. So it's all going to work out in the end. And it's a really nice coverage, very lightweight feel. And Moving on to concealer, I am using the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. So this particular one has a little bit of a salmon-y color, even though it's called light pale, as you can see, it just kind of blends in and gets rid of any of the darkness, any of the redness, anything. So I use that mainly on my eyes and dab that in with my fingers. And then I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer for the places that I typically highlight, and as you can see, I'm using little, very small dots. I'm not caking it on, and that's just to give it a little bit of a highlight without looking too heavy. To set the concealer and to set my under eyes, I'm going to use the light color of that Contour Duo in the Wet n Wild Contour Duo palette. That's what it's called, I believe. And it is a beautiful powder. It is very finely milled. It's got a little bit of a yellow tint, so it's going to do a lot of brightening. And it's also going to set everything we just did. For the rest of my face, I'm taking the Cody Air Sponge. I've like fallen in love with this again. It does smell kind of weird initially. And it is like the most finely milled powder I think I've ever used. And it looks so beautiful on the skin, and it's so affordable. And as you can see, I'm using a small brush because you either have to pat it in with a sponge or use a small brush or it's going to get everywhere, but it is beautiful. For eyes, I'm taking NYX's Tame and Frame in the color Espresso and I am just filling in my brows. I'm doing this with a light hand because whenever you use a pomade, you're more likely to have kind of like that really, really defined Instagram brow. and. If you use a light hand and you don't fill it in too much, then you're more likely to have a natural look, if that makes any sense. So that's the look I'm going for here. And for contour, I'm going to use the darker shade, as you can see, of that Wet n Wild Contour Palette. And I'm just going to pop that in the hollows of my cheeks, just to give it a little bit of a shadow there. And this is just going to bring back dimension into your face. And I'm also going to go on the high points of my forehead there, and go over all of that with some butter bronzer. You guys know it's my favorite that watch my channel. Of course, I'm gonna use butter bronzer from the drugstore. Um, I will branch out soon, I promise. Anyway, this stuff's amazing, and I'm just going over all the parts that I contoured and all the parts that the sun would hit my face, and I'm also bringing it down on the jawline very ever so slightly, because um, it's just going to give it a little bit more definition. Everything kind of just looks like more blended and cohesive and like it's all just supposed to be there. And I'm going to take Milani's Luminoso and I'm going to pop that on the apples of my cheeks and I'm going to bring it backwards and just dust that on there ever so slightly. Now we're going to move on to eyes. Look at this palette. This is a Wet n Wild palette. Beautiful colors. They are all shimmer. There is no wet. And I'm going to show you that whoever told you that you cannot use an all shimmer palette lie to you because this is makeup you can do whatever you want and it's supposed to be fun so i'm going to show you how to do it so i took that golden color as you saw popped it on my lids for a brightening effect and then i am also going to use that same exact color for a brow bone highlight taking a little bit of that toby brown color i'm going to put that in my crease and i'm going to start blending it out and mainly blending it in my crease and i'm going to move it upward and i'm not going to put any of that color on my lid Moving on to the darker brown, and these don't have colors, but this one is called Crease. So I'm putting it in my crease. Um, you can put it anywhere, actually. But I'm just intensifying the crease and basically going over the other color and 
blending it out but not bringing it as high as I brought the Toby color. Then I'm moving on to the Toby color, well actually going back to the Toby color, and I'm just going to blend out that area between the brow bone highlight and any of the darker or lighter brown colors and just make sure it's seamless. Then going to a super super duper, the darkest brown there on that left side, and I believe it's the definer color, and again you could place these wherever you like. Um, I'm placing it on my outer V. And as you guys know, if you watch my channel with my outer V's, I do take them up a little bit higher than the typical makeup look. Um, if you don't have hooded eyes like I do, you don't have to do that. Um, and then I'm just blending it out. So blend, 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 and then blending it outward and upward. Then I'm taking a clean brush with absolutely no product on it and I'm just going to continue blending. So I'm just going to blend and mesh all the colors together. Okay, so now I'm taking this color, it's duochrome, and it's so, so pretty. So I wanted to show you guys. It is on the right side, all the way at the bottom. It's Look at that, oh my gosh. It's um, it's the other side and it's called the definer. And it reminds me of the Tarte Pro Teast Palette, one of the duochromes. It reminds me very much of that. Um, it's so pretty, oh my gosh. And anyway, so I put it in that area that you just saw me put there, kind of on my lid, on the outer part of my lid, and slightly above it, and I'm just blending everything out. Then I'm going back to that goldy color that I started with because it looks like a lot of it has come off with all the blending. And I'm just adding a little bit more to the inner part of my lid. And also, I did place some of that. I'm not sure if it was recorded, but I did place some of that on my inner corner highlight. And then I'm using Physicians Formula Shimmer Sticks in Black to type line. For my waterline, I'm taking Pixies eyeliner and I'm using the shade black cocoa and this is not black at all it is actually a really beautiful brown and I'm just going to pop that in my waterline and then I'm going to go to my lower lashes with that dark color and pencil brush and I'm going from the outer corner as you can see inward and I'm stopping halfway through and then I'm taking a lighter color lighter brown color and I'm taking a definer brush just to make it a little bit more defined in the inner portion of the eye and I'm just popping that right there. Moving on to lashes, I am curling them and I'm going to be using L'Oreal's Carbon Black Mascara. So as you will see, I am really taking my time and lengthening the lashes. This mascara is so dark and it's a really, really good drugstore brand. It really does a good job at lengthening. So if you really get in there and you spend your time, I usually do two coats and I use this on the top and bottom lashes. You can see how nice and long the lashes look. If you want a little bit more of a thicker effect, you'll have to put an extra coat because it does more of a job of lengthening, I believe, at least for my lashes, than thickening. Then I'm taking this Wet n Wild highlighter and I'm mixing the goldy and the pinky shade. For lips, I'm taking NYX's pencil in flower and I'm actually lining my lips and then filling them in. This makes the gloss last longer and then I'm taking a lip gloss from Wet n Wild called Sinless. It is something I wasn't sure about but it actually came out really nice and this is the final look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.